Hi guys, it's May here. Welcome to my channel. Before we start our vlog for today, I just want to greet each and every one of you. A happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day today. As for me, I'm off for eight nights. I started last Thursday, so today is my fourth night. Uh, to be off from work so um, but with all those four days I was just so busy you guys so I apologize for not posting any videos on this channel same as my other channel it's been like four days since the last time I posted there but I posted one today and I'm going to post this video today here for Mother's Day um, like I said it was a very very busy day for me so yeah for today's vlog um i'm going to talk about my pantry for so many years my pantry is really driving me crazy right so i said to myself you know i talked to my sister because whatever i do here at home i always talk to my sister because we both own the property so um, so I talked to her and I told her that, you know, the pantry is really driving me crazy. So what we did, we hired someone to redo the pantry. Since some of the uh, screws are already, like, you know, loose and it's uh, coming out from the wall. So I said, okay, you know, I told my sister, let's just hire someone to do it. So my sister's a friend from church. Uh, he was the one who did it for us. Yeah, it cost us like, oh my gosh, the material is so expensive. So, and but the labor is a little bit cheap because we know the person. So, uh, anyhow, Destroying pantry 101. <laughs> So, nung niligay niya to, lumi siya sa stud. Kasi hindi yung may kakabit to kasi mayroon siya. So, sa gilid siya ng stud. Yung pinipigure out ko, kung pwede kang pumasok sa loob. Para lumikulan ng konti. Pasok na siya sa stud. So, Usually in a house, there's only one pantry, but here at home, I have three. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys how the pantry looks like and how I organize it. Uh, this is the first time that I'm going to show my pantry. Um, I know from my other channel, they always request to see the pantry, how it looks like how princess may's kitchen's pantry looks like they they really want to see it but you know i'm the type of person and nah you know it's not but with this channel i can vlog whatever i want so so today you guys i'm going to show you how it looks like so here it is come with me and i hope you guys don't judge me because my pantry well you guys will see so, okay, let's go. So, in the house, this is our main pantry. 
this is where all my spices and my ingredients and the everyday stuff that we use so let me show you let me open it so this is the first time i'm going to do this vlog for my pantry so this is how my pantry looks like over here this is the everyday stuff that that we you know we use so what the guy did is he rearranged all these shelvings here and since these are all my spices that I use for my everyday cooking there and over here these are my spices all of them and I got some noodles there just you know if I don't want to cook they can have noodles <laughs> And this one's over here, they are very, very heavy because they are all glass jars, right? So, it's all labeled, right? And I have from over there too. I have my little rock there. So, this stuff over here, they are all vaulting out. So, what he did is he fixed everything. And since I have heavy stuff on this pantry, he put those brackets there. And we have to change all the shelving. So this costs us a lot of money, the shelvings. Because these are, uh, uh, how do you call it? The colors don't peel. Like the company that did these shelvings, this is a permanent one. So it doesn't brass, it doesn't do anything. So this will last a long, long time. And he also put brackets there since this this is the heaviest pantry I have. So... I have all my ice cream cones there of course and over here we love I love tea I love tea so I put all my teas over here my hot chocolate and my parents they love coffee and, and over here this is just extra stuff of course I still have my tea here I love David's tea you get this one from uh, West Edmonton Mall. They are a little bit pricey, but they are so good. Let me open it for you guys See This is my favorite Every time I finish this rock, I always buy from David's tea It's one of the best tea and I have this kind over here as well I'm not really a coffee person. I only drink coffee when I really get a, a very bad migraine. So again, these are just extra. I have some icing, red sugar, white sugar, salt. And I have my panko and tang. And over here, I made this one into like, you know, all the peanut butters and the jams and the honeybee. And those are all my cooking stuff, my baking stuff. And just over here, you know, all sorts of things. But this is the main thing that really worries me. So this is the heaviest part that I have here, these things here. So this is how I uh, I do my uh, cooking thing. I, I like clean stuff. Like, it really bothers me when they're not organized, when they're, like, all over the place. So this is the main pantry that I use for every day and then I'll bring you guys to the second pantry so let's go to the second pantry let me turn the light on actually this one here is our broom closet but since I have so many stuff and where we live is really private so if you want something you have to get out and you have to drive and you know that's how you buy the stuff because you know we're a little bit too far so the the broom this is the broom closet I made this into a pantry so look so those are all the stuff the that we use like uh, the hand sanitizer all the stuff the vitamins and over here, I separated all my tomato sauce for making spaghetti. And I have a little bit of chips. Um, I don't really like junk, you know. But once in a while, I crave for fritos or ding-dongs. 
And over here, these are all my noodles. I love pasta, you guys. I love noodles. So, I have all my spaghetti, all my lasagna stuff, macaroni, and over here, the, the Asian stuff, you know, making uh, stir-fried noodles and all those kind of stuff. And over here on this pantry, as you guys can see there, I have all so many, I have a lot of extras just in case I need it. And these are the things that um, I, I already used, you know, and then I have my flower over here, all my flowers and my, the thing that I use for, you know, like um, glutinous rice when I make my dessert and stuff and my cooking oil there, canola and the apple cider. And then, over here, these are my canned goods and stuff, and my coconut milk. These are all my coconut milk, my condensed milk, and my uh, evaporated milk. And at the bottom is just the the drinks that you know my sister. She's the only one that drinks that. So, so this is the broom closet, which we turn into a pantry, and this is this is what it costs us a lot is because of the material that it's used you know that one there that one bar it's a long bar all the way down this one here one of that is 48 dollars so it's so expensive so yeah and this is more stronger pantry too so that's how we do it and then i'm show you I'm going to show you the third pantry. So this pantry over here, this is um, supposed to be where you hang your coats and stuff. And again, since we live in a private community, it's so hard to buy stuff, you know, across the street. We don't have those things. So this coat pantry we turn into... This coat closet we turn into a pantry as well. So we can still hang our coats. Like I don't have much. Like this is for just the winter time. So we have the bar of soap there. The dishwashing. And the clinics. These are just extras just in case. And then over here we have my dad's incontinent product there. And then all the paper towels and uh, the toilet paper and the soap over there and this is what I use for my little um, stove because I have a little stove that I use for mukbang and the laundry soap so this is how this laundry is it's not heavy it's not much so yeah and then see that that top over there we have one extra that's just extra so i don't know um we didn't throw it away because one of that it cost us like 12 dollars one of these is 12 bucks so so that's how it is you guys um yeah this is my kitchen here it's not really that clean this is how it is so yeah. so that is one of the things that I've been doing for the last four days and then on the next video I'm going to show you guys all my flowers which I was buying flowers last starting Thursday my first day of uh, night off from work um, I was buying flowers and I was planting and I was like cleaning the garden and all those stuff so but I'm going to show you guys on the next video so for the past four days it's really been a busy 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 day for me um, I'm hoping that I want to save three days before I go back to work to just for myself just to enjoy and relax but so far right now I can't um, I still have a lot of things to do today is Sunday so I still have at least until Tuesday to finish everything and I really want everything to get done uh, before I go back to work so I hope you guys um, watch 
the next video as well so anyhow if you guys like this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed on this channel yet please don't forget to subscribe and also please don't forget to subscribe to my other channel princess may's kitchen so thank you guys for watching